artists, how are you today? Stephanie Ani coming to you from the banks of the Trinity River here near Willow Creek, California. Ozzy and I welcome you to the studio. We are very happy that you are back with us again today. Well, I am working on refining the piece that I started in April. This was the background using the Arteza metallic gouache paints. I really loved making this um, piece of artwork and what I'm really doing here is uh, just wanting to refine it a little bit more. I did want to ask you guys though, I have a question of the day for you and um, that question is quite simply, what is your favorite thing to paint and why? So for me, my favorite thing right now, I'm really kind of enjoying playing with these flowers, these doodle style flowers that I'm going back through and refining more and more, just having kind of an impressionistic feel to them. I would love to hear what your favorite thing to paint is and if you could leave a comment on that and let me know why and, and what style you like to use. I think that would be a great conversation starter. I really am interested in what you all enjoy creating. So I'm taking the Arteza Real Brush Pens and really working um, to push some darks through there. Now since gouache is a water-based pigment, um, it does still have a tendency to move. Um, remember, gouache is a cross between watercolor and acrylic paint, and um, it, it doesn't really ever fully set. So, well, how do, how do you explain it? It's like watercolor, so if you go back through you know, with more water on top of watercolor, it will move, and gouache does the same thing. So as I'm bringing in the real brush pens, they are a water-based, a watercolor um, pen, which I love this set, by the way. Um, it does move the paint a little bit, and that's something that I did need to go back through. Well, I don't think I showed it here at the very end, but I did go back through and push some more of the highlights back in on it. Since the... Um, paint is a metallic gouache, it really did have a different, um, um, it's hard to get a great picture of it because it changes in every single lighting scenario. It's, it's really fun to play with. So I think what I was doing there was I was sharpening my Stabilo All 8046. Now you hear the word Stabilo. What is Stabilo? Stabilo is a graphite pencil and it's a water soluble pencil so it's an excellent and amazing drawing tool and um, you know I really suggest that people try it out as um, a drawing tool instead of just as something to kind of bring in a black smudgy line into your painting. So here I'm trying to add some darker, darker shadows. Um, again, with the metallics, they're very um, uh, bright and reflective. And so it's kind of hard to get into a deep, dark shadow. Now, I think if you guys will remember on the background challenge where I started this painting, um, I think I did bring in actual just plain watercolors in order to get some darker colors in there. Um, it was a lot of fun to do. If you're interested in seeing how this painting started, definitely go to the April Background Challenge series. Um, and you know that series was all about um, trying to uh, push ourselves to use all of our different art supplies. So it was really a great challenge and I am enjoying doing these little compositions immensely. Um, now that my vertigo is, is getting better, I'm able to sit back down at the art table again and I'm extremely happy about that. 
Uh, I didn't create for about three weeks there just because my my vision was uh, really pretty messed up. It is getting better now, thankfully. Um, I'm taking a lot of vitamins and that's seeming to be helping, but anyways. Oh, I did want to send a thank you to whomever sent me the poison ivy and oak scrub. So awesome. I really, truly do appreciate it. I have a feeling it was uh, Deborah, but I'm not positive on that. Um, you know, the thing with having an Aussie dog that goes barreling through the woods, uh, you know, he just gets poison oak and we have it all over the properties. So uh, I really did appreciate the scrub. I've already used it once and I think that it actually did help me right off the bat. So, um, get back to the painting here. Uh, just trying to push the, the lights and the darks. I really liked the um, beginning that I had on this, so it was a great base to start with. Keep it loose, keep it free. You know, I always go back through and do more and more detail and trying to think about petals and how they're, they're darker on the inside where they're going into the you know the bud of the plant or the stem of the plant they're going to be darker shadows on the inside and then as they come out they're going to be um, lighter where they actually do hit the um, the sunlight yeah so I think the final thing that I did when I was painting here on this is I did go back through there I just sprinkled some water on uh, just to get some texture and um, then I blotted it with a paper towel just trying to get some variation um, I did go back through later and uh, put a few more highlights on that little bud all right last thing I'm doing here to finish this up is I am putting an edging on the painting I'm just taking my timber brown stays on and really um, just kind of giving it that little dark edge. I really love edging with a permanent ink. Try to do it with a permanent ink or it will, you know, it does have the possibility to get off onto other people's hands. All right, there's the final piece. And I think we're going to see a little bit of Ozzy here. My crazy man. We go down to the field and run every single day. That's actually my neighbor, Ron. So he, they love to play with Ozzy too. And we have a great, great time together. They will throw the chuck it for him every single day. And Oz will go down even if I'm not feeling good. And they thankfully love him as much as I do. And Ozzy has such a wonderful extended family. Uh, he's so fast. He's so strong. And he runs and runs and runs and runs. Well, I hope you all are staying safe and, um, you know, trying to keep sane through all of this isolation. And um, I truly do hope you are all doing well. I seem to be on the uptake finally. So I'm extremely happy about that. I hope you guys have a great day, and uh, we will truly chat soon. All right. Love y'all. Thanks so much. Hey, don't forget about Patreon and using the links down in the comments. Love to hear from you guys. Thanks so much. Bye-bye. Come on, get up the hill. Tired, huh? Ran good.